Well, hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday. Y'all, Friday is right around the corner. I'm just saying, it's right there. We're almost there. Tonight, we got another quick and easy. You know, I don't, I'll, that's all I do is quick and easy, right? So tonight, it's honey mustard baked chicken. I don't know about you, but I'm not even feeling this tonight. <laughs> I'm just not. But, but we have to make dinner. Dinner. We, I have to cook. We have we have to do something, right? We got to eat. So here we are. I've already uh, thawed out my chicken thighs. You know, in this house we do thighs. If you can throw breasts or whatever you want to do. We're going to salt and pepper both sides of the chicken. You ever have times that you just don't, you just don't feel it? Sometimes that means I go into the freezer and I grab something that's like pre-made family meal from the frozen department at Walmart. Sometimes that, that means that um, we order in. I don't know. Uh, I already had the chicken out. It's really easy. It's the prep time. It's not going to take that long. And the time it would take me to order something, I can have this probably ready to go. So, all right, we got all that salt and pepper on there. It's ready. Now we're going to take, the recipe calls for about a fourth of a cup of Dijon mustard and about a half a cup of honey. Um, <laughs> that's cute, isn't it? That's cute. Um, yeah. <laughs> but according to the recipe, that's for two pieces of chicken. You see, I've got five pieces of chicken in here, right? So, um, yeah. You know what we do around here. You know what we do. <laughs> We measure with our heart. So let's see. You know, I'm actually going to throw that. You see that honey has crystallized down here. I'm actually going to throw this in the microwave for just a few seconds and get that uh, softened up so it'll pour out. Okay, so actually, let me give you a measuring tip for, for measuring honey. Again, I'm not going to measure this, but if you were going to measure honey, you were going to put it in a measuring cup. Spray that measuring cup down with some uh, cooking spray first, and it'll help it come out so much easier. Okay, again, this call for about half a cup. But remember, I've got I've got a lot more chicken than what the recipe calls for. What's really good about making things like sauces and something like this is there's really no, you can't really go wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? As long as you kind of keep it in proportion, um, your flavors are going to be good. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? You're going to have too much sauce. I always err on the side of a little bit too much sauce. So I'm going to mix that up in there. Now that I have that all mixed up, I, I missed a step. Hold on. We need to take some butter, in my case, margarine. That's just what I keep in my house. And we're going to take small slices and just put that up on top of the chicken here. I guess as best we can. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to take the sauce and pour it all across the top here. Again, what's the worst that can happen? I've got too much sauce. Big whoop. You're going to have it with rice anyway, so it'll be fine. Nobody's going to complain about having extra sauce to put over their rice, right? All right, so I've already got the oven preheated to 375 degrees. I'm going to pop this in there for about 20 minutes just until the chicken's done. Okay, so here we are. That chicken is pretty much done. I'm going to cut into it really quick and have a nice little peek at it. Make sure that it's if not just about done, it is done, done, or just about done, and it is. It's looking good, okay? So, in the original recipe, and it, you know, said that I should have fried some bacon. And, you know, that would be nice. But I ain't got time for that. You know me. Quick and easy, quick and easy. So, I have these bacon crumbles, you know, like real bacon that I get from Costco. Of course, I get them from Costco. We're just going to take these bacon crumbles 
and just put them on the top. You can never have too much bacon, right? I'm going to take this and throw it back in the oven for about another five minutes. And just like that, it's all done. If, there it is. Because that was quick and easy. Right? I mean, come on. That was easy. And I couldn't have ordered takeout any quicker. Seriously. So I got my rice right here. You know good when I cooked it in the microwave. If you don't know how to cook rice in the microwave, all right, it's quick, easy like everything else that I do, right? Quick and easy. Basically, I, for this much rice, I put in two cups of rice and just over four cups of water. So double the water to rice. You want, you know, a water to rice, two to one ratio, if that makes sense. So however much rice you add, you want double that amount, just a little bit more than double that amount of water, salt. And I usually throw a stick of butter in there, really no matter how much rice I'm making, I throw a stick of butter in. All right, so let's, Stir that rice up and get it. It's all good to go here. Put me some rice on the bottom of my bowl. It's nice and good and ricey. It's ricey. It's good. <laughs> and then I'm going to... This time Dolly's not talking to me. I think there's somebody outside she's talking to. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of that chicken. Okay, now I'm going to, just going to change out the spoon because I dropped it. All right, so I'm going to get some of this yummy honey mustard sauce. because There's a lot of sauce in here. Look at this. Like I said, look at that. You can, you can never have too much sauce. It's going to be so good on all this rice. And just like that, it's baked honey mustard chicken. It's what's for dinner tonight. Mmm. So good. Um. <laughs>